Hello, this is the follow-up tutorial to our last one where we made uh, floppy drive images. And I'm going to show you how to get files you download into Linux into your virtual DOS and virtual box. And what we're going to do is we're going to put these into a CD-ROM image. Now I went ahead and downloaded a program called ISO Master. This will let you create the CD-ROM images. So we're going to go ahead and make a new one. As you can see, I'm already in the right folder. There's our PK unzip. These are very popular command line utilities. And we're going to add these one at a time. Okay. Now we just save this, is all we do. We'll call it CD2. And it's done. We have CD2.ISO, which is 122 kilobytes, which contains our two zip and unzip programs and we're going to go into our virtual machine virtual box to our storage devices to the empty CD-ROM click storage empty CD-ROM click the little yellow folder add the CD2 ISO okay we select that one and as you can see it's on there and there it is again now, I had to get a, you have to get a CD-ROM driver for DOS, so I got MSC Dex, it took a while to locate it. So, when you boot up now, you can see it's loading the CD-ROM driver. Check our directory. Okay. Now we use the directory star.exe which means wildcard exe list all executables slash w for widthwise and space them side by side and we don't have our zip and unzip programs in here so we're going to go to our cd-rom archive we just put on there and there's our unzip and zip utilities so we're going to copy these to c copy wildcard dot wildcard that means all files to C drive. They're copied. Now we go back to C drive directory and we're going to list all executables with Y's again. And you can see we have our PK unzip and PK zip. Now not quite useful to shoving everything into your C drive, so let's make a folder form. Make direct um, directory. Uh, zip directory wildcard dot no extension for uh, directory listings slash widthwise and as you can see we made our zip folder and we're going to copy pkzip dot exe to c slash zip and copy pk unzip dot exe to C slash zip. Now we can erase those. Erase pkzip.exe and erase pkzip unzip.exe. Now they should be gone. And they are. And we're going to list our directories again. And it's still there, so it goes cd zip. Change directory to zip directory listing and there we go it's all set up to use and organized correctly so we'll be able to unzip and zip archives okay now if you need to give yourself some notes in here I'm going to show you a very useful DOS command most people don't know about especially people who haven't spent a lot of time in DOS it's called the copycon command and you can create just any kind of file you want with this so we're going to create a, a a notes text file with this or you can just use the edit but I like doing things the old way uh, zip file zip applications in zip press F6 to get the end file we made ourselves a text file 
There's our no set text. If we edit it. You can see it contains our information. Nice little trick when you're on the run. Well, that will be that for now, and I'll come to you later when I got some more.